Happy weekend, guys. This is gonna be a relatively short video on the topic of mowing. Recently in the live stream, I got some questions from you guys around how do I mow my back lawn, but also more importantly, how do I mow the slope with a real mower? So I figured I'm gonna take a few minutes, give you guys some tips. This is not a definitive guide. This is not the alpha and the omega of mowing, but this is how Ron Henry mows. This is how I mow, okay? So before you guys give me a ton of hate in the comments saying I'm doing it wrong, I'm telling you what I do. Right, speaking on the subject of mowing, you see Alex over there. He's out there putting in work with his uh, true cut laying some stripe action down on his lawn. But guys, so today I mowed my lawn, I got up nice and early in mode, and the thing you'll notice is the stripes are going away from the house. So if we look at the way the stripes are right now, looking quite gorgeous in my opinion, um, what you're seeing is uh, the results of mowing to and from the house. Now the important thing is once you start mowing lower, right? So you're getting your heights of cut down really low and you're using a real mower. It's important to vary your mowing pattern. So today I've mowed this way. The next time I mow, which will maybe be tomorrow or the day after, I will mow lengthwise. So I mow this way today. The next time I mow will be lengthwise this way. The third time I mow, the next time, not, you know, whatever that happens to be, will be diagonally this way. And then I bet you guys can guess what's coming next, right? Can you guess what the next mow is gonna be? So we've already went this way, this way, diagonally towards like that neighbor's house. The fourth mow is gonna be diagonally this way. So we end up with four different ways minimum to mow the lawn. That's important because if you mow the lawn the same way every single time, you can start to develop issues with ruts, with burn-in, um, and overall the quality of the cut begins to suffer because you're literally laying the grass down the same way every single time. So it's important uh, to mix that up. When it comes to mowing the back lawn, the big thing that the way I do it is I will just make a trim pass all around the lawn, right? Also along here, along the, like the pavers that you're seeing right in here. And then along the patio, I'll make a trim pass. And then I will mow um, the, the direction I'm gonna mow for that particular day. And then when I'm done, I'll do a cleanup pass. Because what happens is, let me give you a good example, right? When I'm mowing away from the house and to it, what happens is when I turn the mower around right here in this section right here by the patio, like right in here, like what tends to happen is the mower, like the, the grass here gets a little, I don't know, a little scraggy, a little scuffed up here a little bit, right? So even though I do a trim pass um, at the beginning of my mow, I also finish up with another trim pass. So I'll do one beginning because I'm just anal like that. And then when I'm done, I'll do another one. And, and here's the thing you can notice. Even though I mowed this way, take a look at, take a look at the, uh, the patio. You can see that there's a pass along the length of the patio. So I do this just to kind of clean up the look of the mow and get a better result. On to the front lawn. So this part of the lawn is where I get most of the questions saying, hey, Ron, how do you mow a slope with a real mower? Now, I've got two videos at least, I think, on this subject. I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that I haven't really covered in either of those videos when I watch them again. So here's the thing, the challenge with the slope, right? You've got the section of the lawn down here, like where the, the lawn ends in the sidewalk. And then we've got another problem where when the lawn ends in the sidewalk up here. And if we come in here really quick, I'm gonna show you guys one of the challenges that I have with my lawn is that the grass is below where the sidewalk is. And that presents a problem, right? Because whenever I'm mowing, you can actually see some of the um, scuff marks from the mower. What that causes is that I can only get so close uh, to that sidewalk. And when I'm making my passes, um, my ability to go from the grass onto the sidewalk smoothly is somewhat compromised, right? So. The way I do it, the way I get around that, is when I first start mowing, let me get you guys in here so we can get the entire front lawn in frame. Good, looking great. All right, so what I will do is when I first start mowing is I will mow up this part of the lawn, like right up here, and then I'll mow along a trim pass all the way around and then come back this way. What that does is it gives me a border kind of like what I do with that section on the patio, an area to turn around without having to necessarily take the lawn off, the, the mower off the uh, the lawn and then onto the concrete and back on, again, onto the lawn. Um, so it's, it's a little trick you can do. So literally you'll make a trim pass all the way around and then you'll mow diagonally. Again, the best way to mow uh, a slope like this, in my opinion, with a real mower, is to go diagonally. The reason being that if you try and mow lengthwise this way, what you're gonna run into is, because the more of the mower, the way the mower is gonna be sitting on the lower part of the lawn, that you're gonna cut a, a lower cut on this half of the mower, and then the part that's higher up is not gonna cut as well. So the, so the best way, the best compromise, again, in my opinion, is to mow diagonally. You can kind of see that in my lawn, how the stripes are coming through here, in that, in the last one I mowed here this morning, all the passes are like this. But that's, that's the best way to, in, again, Ron Henry's opinion, of how to um, 
balance out the, the, the weight of the mower on the, on the turf so you get the most even cut possible. That's, that's my uh, tip. Now, if you want to mix things up, again, remember that whole grain issue I was telling you about, that yeah, you, know, you don't want to mow the lawn the same way every time? Well, something I will do occasionally is I will mow the lawn lengthwise. I'll come out here and I'll mow it like this, like lengthwise along that way. But then for my second, my cleanup pass, again, instead of, instead of just doing another trim pass around, I'll just mow the lawn again. In other, words, in other words, I'll make two passes, finishing up doing it diagonally. Because no matter what I've tried, when I mow lengthwise, because of, of how, how steep this grade is, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, it just doesn't come out very well. For the swale area, there's not a whole lot uh, to have to really mention about this, other than with the greens mask, this section here where the swale ends and it kind of flattens out, like right there, you can only get so close to that. So you just have to kind of figure out like for your section of the lawn where you're dealing with like a slope and then it drops off, that section right in here, this little mid midsection, can be a bit challenging to mow. So I just get the true cut out for that and it does a pretty good job. So as you mow more uh, and you get more into your mowing, you're doing it more regularly, you begin to figure out what works well uh, for your lawn, the particular challenging areas that you have to deal with. But the important thing, hopefully you guys get out of this video, is the importance of mowing. Literally, uh, I've been doing an experiment where I've been mowing my lawn, the back lawn anyway, uh, every single day for 20 days at this point. And it looks, I think, pretty good from that, right? But the big thing is if you can commit, regardless of what kind of mower you have, whether you have a real mower or a rotary mower, whether you're mowing fescue or hooses and grass or Bermuda, which is the grass to end all grasses in my opinion, you want to get up there twice a week. At least twice a week is what it's going to take to get a good looking lawn. If you can mow more than that, it's going to look even better. But twice a week is the bare minimum. Now, if you enjoyed this little quick discussion on mowing the slope, I'm going to have a video that you guys can check out right here that's going to take you to how I use my Greens Master, which is a type of real mower, on the slope. And then in the card up here, I'll have a link to a video on using a true cut real mower to mow a slope. So I got you fully covered on the slope mowing videos. Hopefully you guys found this useful. I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing weekend. Get out there and mow.